Hi Year 12s, in yesterday's assembly I spoke to you about the importance of backing up your laptop, particularly in Year 12, and I told you about two different ways that you can do that. The first was with Time Machine and an external hard drive, and the second was with Google. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Google option, which is free. So the first thing you want to do is Google search for Google Backup and Sync. And you're looking for the website that looks like this. So download backup and sync free cloud storage. And you then want to click on this link here. So download backup and sync. That will then start the installation process. So it'll pop up in your downloads. You click that and wait for it to open for you. Now I already have it installed. So I'm just going to open that now. Okay. And it should hopefully pop up. For you guys, it will ask you to do something very similar to this. So you can see that I've tried to download a different program at the moment, and all you have to do is drag the icon physically into applications. Okay, so um, I'm just going to replace that one. Okay, so when you try and download Backup and Sync, it's going to work. So what should come up is this screen right here. So when you double click on that icon, once you've dragged it into your applications folder, you want to click on the get started icon. And really important here, you want to sign in with your school email address because this gives you unlimited storage. So I'm going to use mine. But if you're a student, just make sure that you do first name dot last name at students plural dot brighton dot sa dot edu dot au. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that. Oh, hang on. and then add my password and then it will sync for you and it's going to ask you what you want this program to do. Now it's really important that you want to back up your computer to the drive. You don't want to do it the other way around otherwise you're just going to clog up your computer. So for myself you can see here that I store all of my documents on my desktop so I'm going to unsync documents and pictures because I don't want to sync those to my drive. I am then going to click next, I have to move my face, here we go, and it will ask. Now this is the part that you want to deselect because you don't want to sync your drive to this computer. So unselect that and click start. And you can see up here, you can see up here that this little cloud Google icon is working. It's got the little spinning arrows. It's a really good idea to do this setup process at school because it will take a really long time to get your entire computer to back up online. So you can see if I click on this that it's starting okay? and it will also ask you when you finish if you want to have a look at where it's located in your Google Drive. So if you were to click on that it will take you to your Google Drive and you can then see that your whole desktop has its own folder and you don't ever have to worry about backing up every new document that you create on your desktop will automatically sync online as long as you have access to the internet. Okay, For those of you who are quite happy just using Google for all of your documents, I think that's a great idea. Most teachers are going to encourage you to do that and your login is obviously your, your school email and your password. So good luck everybody. If you have absolutely any questions, please ask me um, and I'll be there to help you. Bye.